<laughs> no, so I'll do it now. I, I mean, I, we just seem to probably not have too many folks up here, but I think I'm okay. Yeah, no, I can go up to my top. <laughs> yeah, no, that would be. I'll get you a sled, man. I will go with you. Hey, Roman. Good seeing you. Two OEMs. Oh man, we gotta get him on the job. Yeah. <laughs> uh, good afternoon, everybody. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. Ready, sir? Good. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining us today at the North Avenue Salt Dome, one of our six of our one of six of our salt facilities across the city. As we announced that the city of Baltimore is fully prepared for the first winter storm of the season. Uh, today, I am joined by uh, Director Steve Sharkey from the Department of Transportation, uh, Acting Director Matt Garbart from the Department of Public Works, uh, Director Charles Savella, Acting Director of the Office of Emergency Management, uh, Director Nash from. Baltimore City General Services, Commissioner Harrison, uh, we have today, and we also have our Deputy City Administrator, uh, Daniel Ramos. Uh, I want to thank uh, Director Sharkey, uh, Acting Director Garbach, and Director Nash, and the entire snow team uh, for their efforts of preparing uh, the snow operations for Baltimore City. I also want to thank uh, Chair Sevilla for, uh, and the Mayor's Office of Emergency Management for their important role during inclement weather. I want to assure uh, the city of Baltimore and our residents that snow crews are ready to respond to any, any winter weather that may come our way. Forecasts show uh, that this first snowstorm of the season is expected to begin in Baltimore on Wednesday, and we are expecting snow to accumulate. The possibility of significant snowfall exists, and we are ready to respond. We strongly I want to say this again, we strongly encourage residents to take measures to prepare uh, for the storm as well, ensuring that you have food and basic supplies that will be needed on hand. Our snow team is led by the Director of Transportation and the Department of Transportation, but also includes uh, crews from the Department of Public Works, Recreation and Parks, and General Services. With a snow budget of $6.7 million, the city's snow removal program includes 300 essential personnel, 294 pieces of equipment, and over 300 pieces of contract equipment that are ready to hit the streets of Baltimore City. We are fully stocked with over 15,000 tons of salt and fully prepared to treat our city streets. Our agencies have worked thoroughly uh, throughout the summer to now to improve and examine our snow operations to make sure that the level of service that we deliver to the citizens of Baltimore is the, what we should have in our city. And we've identified, identified ways to allocate resources for improved uh, results for our residents. This year, we all know the pandemic has changed how we manage our snow operations and everything. For example, uh, we have established a virtual command center for the snow room and how we do our operations, but you still have our commitment that services will continue seamlessly. In addition, uh, to our commitment to treating uh, our city roads. We have strengthened our partnership with Baltimore County. I want to say thank you to County Executive Olszewski as we have agreed to treat roads that are, are along the city county line and they will do the same thing. No longer will you see our plows picking up uh, right as they have to go and turn around. We know that we have to work together better as a region. 2020 has been challenging for us in many ways, but this has not hindered our snow preparation, and we are ready. And we are really ready for this fully, fully prepared for this upcoming storm. But I want to be very clear. It's not just our team who is already prepared and ready that needs to prepare. 
We also need the residents of Baltimore to plan ahead and be ready for the snow. We ask uh, for the full co cooperation of our residents in order to be successful in clearing snow from city streets. We understand that we are in the middle of a pandemic, uh, but with that in mind, I encourage uh, business owners and residents to be a good neighbor, shovel your sidewalks, shovel your neighbor's sidewalks, especially those who are seniors or we know might have uh, conditions that prevent them from doing that. Be a good neighbor and do that because that's what Baltimoreans do. We advise all residents that must, that must travel uh, during the storm to take precau precautions and be well prepared before driving. Prior to traveling, and you should only do that if you must, motorists should become familiar with the three phases of the city's snow emergency plan. It's important for our residents to know which phases of the plan are implemented as parking uh, may be affected along designated snow emergency route. Snow emergency plan phases will be announced on the local news, and of course you can find them across a city social media platform. Throughout the storm, residents are encouraged to visit snow.baltimorecity.gov for updates and information that we want to get out to the public. Again, that website is snow.baltimorecity.gov. We encourage everyone to take this storm seriously and plan ahead to stay safe during the first winter storm of the season. And now I'd like to bring up Director Sharkey for more information. Director Sharkey. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. <clears throat> Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Steve Sharkey, and I'm the director of the Department of Transportation. As the first storm of the winter season approaches the Baltimore region, I am proud to announce that the Baltimore City Snow Team is ready for the upcoming storm. I want to thank the mayor for joining us today as we ready crews for snow together. I also want to thank our snow team partners here today who help to ensure the city streets are safe and passable each winter. DPW, General Services, OEM, police, fire, it's a full city team effort. Uh, the Department of Transportation along with the Departments of Public Works, Recreation and Parks and General Services have been working very hard to ensure that we are ready to deliver prompt and efficient service. Since early summer, we have been working to ensure that we have the tools and resources necessary to effectively uh, execute our snow program. Just like many of you, we are operating differently this year. We are managing the snow operations uh, with as much virtual uh, work as possible uh, to keep as many uh, personnel safe during the storm. We have worked to refine our protocols to improve the level of service that we, improve, that we deliver to residents. In preparation for the pending storm, our crews have been readying snow equipment and will pre-treat city, city gateways with salt brine throughout the day. Uh, our snow team will activate early on Wednesday to monitor weather and roadway conditions. We are fully prepared for whatever Mother Nature brings, and we encourage all the residents to do the same. Please be prepared. Uh, winter, winter weather often causes driving conditions to change rapidly, so we encourage residents to refrain from traveling during the storm. So again, that means you. This will help our snow team to treat cities safely, streets safely and more efficiently because vehicles that become disabled obstruct the movement of snow plows, police and fire vehicles. Roadways could become very slippery as the storm moves through the region, so we encourage everyone to drive with caution if they must. Please follow us on social media and on our website, and we're here to assure residents that we are ready for snow. Thank you, and at this time I'd like to introduce Acting Director of DPW, Matt Garbark. Good afternoon. Thank you, uh, Mayor Scott, uh, Director Sharkey. My name is Matt Garbark. I'm the Acting Director of the Department of Public Works. Each winter, the uh, Baltimore City Department of Public Works collaborates closely with our partners in the City Department of Transportation and other agencies to remove snow and ice from city streets. We provide trucks equipped with snow plows as well as drivers. We run designated routes and we work around the clock as needed to ensure our roadways are passable during snow and ice events. When winters are exceptionally cold, water mains break and water services can freeze. Residents should begin making preparations now for emergencies that could disrupt water services. We urge residents to be prepared. Always have bottled water on hand we recommend one gallon per person per day. If your pipes freeze or water main breaks, 
or storms take down power at our water pumping facilities, you may have to depend upon your supply of water for a few days. Keep your water service lines from freezing. When temperatures remain at or below 25 degrees Fahrenheit for a prolonged period of time, we recommend that you keep a thin stream of water running from a faucet on the lowest level of your home. This should be no wider than pencil lead. Make sure that outside hoses are disconnected now and that water to any outside faucet is turned off over the winter months. Periodically check your sump pumps because frozen sump pumps and frozen lines can lead to basement flooding. Keep in mind that the Department of Public Works makes repairs on the city's side of the water meter vault. Repairs on your property are your responsibility. In the event of severe weather, you can keep up with service changes such as trash collection by watching or listening to local TV and radio news. We also post information on the city's website and on social media, Twitter, Nextdoor, and Facebook. And if you have subscribed to DPW's website, you will get updates on your mobile phone as well. Remember, if you see water bubbling up and freezing on the street, call 311 in Baltimore City, or if you are a Baltimore County resident, call 410-396-5352. Again, that's 410-396-5352. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Director Garbach. And now, before we close, uh, I want to address one more thing uh, for the residents of Baltimore, and that's recycling services. The previous administration uh, said an update will be provided to the city today about recycling. However, let me be clear. There are a number of ongoing challenges and steps that were not taking, taken that we must now address. Recycling was initially suspended due to the impact of coronavirus on our workforce. Uh, every one person that con contracts COVID-19 means multiple employees must self-quarantine due to the nature of their work and them being so intimate. As such, in restarting it, we must be extremely cautious and thoughtful to keep our employees safe and our contractors safe. Trash and recycling are handled by the same crews. Due to COVID, uh, there was not enough staffing to support both trash and recycling collection, which is why the decision was made to stop recycling. Cities across the country have seen and dealt with this issue, including uh, El Paso, Memphis, Atlanta, and our neighbors to the north in Philadelphia. Over the next several weeks, we will take the necessary steps to in ensure that we provide PPE, cleaning protocols, training, and adequate equipment to safely distance to keep our workforce healthy and safe. These things won't happen overnight. We are committed to getting this right so that we can keep our workers safe and avoid further and future disruptions. While we face challenges, I am committed to getting the basic core service back up and running as soon as possible and when it's safe. Starting January the 19th, recycling trucks will be back on our streets and recycling pickup will resume. Pickup will be based on normal routing handled by DPW. Please expect to hear more in the coming days from DPW about a plan for our recycling to come back and how it will work in the coming weeks. I want to thank all of our residents for their patience and understanding during this unprecedented time. And I want to remind everyone that the community collection centers are available for residents who wish to drop off their recycling. You can go to publicworks.baltimorecity.gov slash recycling centers to see all of them. Uh, now we will end and open it up for a new question, for a few questions. Oh. Hold on one second. You got to turn the, turn the mic on. Thank you. Uh, For Acting Director Garbar, do we have data on the tonnage of recycling that has been collected during this time of the collection centers? How much of a dip has the city seen in recycling collection during this collection center? Um, so we have been seeing about 100 tons per week that's been collected. Um, normally, when we do curbside collections, we're looking at more 100 tons a day. So it is a significant drop. Nonetheless, these are 100 tons per week that we are collecting that otherwise would have um, 
gone into the, the, the landfill or mixed refuse. Thank you, ma'am. When you resume recycling service, are you planning to do that exclusively with city employees or are you looking to have a contractor assist with that? So as I said, we will be uh, giving out the further information as we move forward about how we're going to do it. And I'll just ask you guys to stand by as we do the necessary work uh, before we make the further announcement. But uh, what the residents want to hear is that the service will resume on January the 19th. Ma'am? As far as getting the roads cleared tomorrow, are there enough employees or has COVID presented any challenges with that? Yeah, we, we are ready to clear the roads. We are good there. I'll let Director Sharkey go more, but as we said early today, we are fully prepared to deal with the snow. Director Sharkey? Yeah, we have uh, over, a hundred, usually during the snow event, at any particular time, we're gonna have 120 to 130 city trucks on the, on the road, plus over 300 contractor trucks. So we've called everyone in, and we've added some extra contractor trucks as well just in case this year. So we're gonna have quite the force out on the street for the you know, for any larger snowstorm when we call on the contractors, there's gonna be a lot. Thank you. Thank you everyone. 